Hi there, back again to share another recipe with you. This time I'm sharing a recipe for some gluten-free frangipan top mince pies. Um, I'm just sharing the recipe from where I've already made the gluten-free pastry because I've got um, a video on here already uh, sharing with you how I make gluten-free pastry. So if you want to check that one out, if you're, you know, if you've not already got a recipe, then you check that one out first and then get to the stage of having a gluten-free pastry. And then from there, we'll crack on and show you what I do next. Okay, so once I'm halfway with the pastry and I've kneaded it for a little while to make it easier to handle, I've just cut it in half um, because I just want to work with a smaller piece. So I'm just going to cut that in half first. Um, prior to that, I've actually uh, greased two lots of bun tins. So, well, actually muffin tins, should I say. Um, and what I, I do is I grease them quite well. I've greased them with Lurpak spreadable butter. But if you grease them quite well, it just means that when you put the um, the pastry cases in, they slip down easier. I'll show you what I mean when I do them. So say I, I put um, quite a bit of grease on there and it's say low fat spread of butter. If you don't want to use that, you could use um, uh, vegetable oil instead. So that would work as well. So, so I'm just going to roll this uh, first piece out now and just cut out some um, little circles to line the tins. The, the good thing I'd say about this, if you're not sure about um, making gluten-free pastry, this is a great place to start um, because the pieces that you have to handle, they're only little pieces, so you're not sort of having to handle a big piece at the end, um, if that makes sense. So you just do um, a small, you know, little small circles and they are easier to handle. So. Um, I just like to make sure there's lots of flour on the surface just so they don't stick because ideally I don't have to re-roll the pastry because I don't want to sort of incorporate too much more flour in here. Uh, the flour used today, um, as I mentioned before my videos, um, I've just cut that pastry a bit, um, is the Asda gluten-free plain flour. Um, so I'm just going to cut these circles out. Um, I'll let you know what size cutter I've used. I'm not sure offhand, but that's the size I'm going for. And I'm just going to go with these. So to line them, I just, um, as I say, just slip them in, just working out. I've gone again with a little bit of a different angle, so I'm trying to show you. So when you put them in, if you just gently slip them down with your fingers, I mean, it's only because they just look neater at the end, but that grease that I put in before, that just helps that hugely, you know, for them to manoeuvre. And then they just go in like that. So I'll just fill all of these now. And once you've got as many as you can out of the first roll, just scrunch the pastry together and re-roll out again. Okay, you generally will get um, 24 out of the pastry, but the, sometimes, it, well, I try to get the pastry as thin as possible because if you get the pastry as thin as possible, it gives you a really nice bite when you eat the mince pie. Um, so, um, as I say, if you can do that, that's great. And then it ensures that you can get the full 24 out of the pastry as well. Okay, so I've filled all the um, little holes now with the pastry um, case. And I'm just going to fill them now with uh, mincemeat. So mincemeat is one of those things that you just always have to check that it's gluten-free. It generally is, but I always check. So the one I've gone for today is that one because it sounded nice. So it's Sainsbury's Taste a Difference one. Um, so, and I'm just going to put a teaspoon um, of mincemeat into each case. Well, maybe just sort of about that amount I pop in there. So. Okay, at the stage when I start filling the pastry cases with mincemeat, I just put the oven on to preheat. Um, the oven set uh, temperature is all in the written recipe that's over on my blog, and I'll put a link below um, in the written description that will um, give you the full written recipe. You'll find as well that um, that size jar, which is a on, on this label, it's saying 411 grams, but sort of that sort of size that you're looking at, that will be perfect to fill the 24 mince pies. 
and I do always get the 24 out of the pastry. Sometimes the pastry is, you know, quite thin, as I mentioned before, but um, I think it makes for a better bite with, with the mince pie. So they're all filled now, and now I'm just going to crack on and make the frangipan topping. So to make the fanish pan pop topping, it's really, really simple. It's similar to a sponge cake, uh, well, sponge mixture, but it's almonds rather than flour that you're using there. So in that bowl, I've got some softened butter, um, and I'd definitely say soften the butter. I've had to sort of um, stop and start a little bit with this to make sure it was nice and soft before I, I went for it. Um, if this butter is nice and soft, tends to be more summertime when it's like that, um, you can just mix this mixture with a spoon and it'll be fine. But if it's a little bit like it is today, then I would go with a whisk because um, an electric whisk or a, you know, a stand mixer, um, because it's going to be really hard to mix with a spoon um, when, it's so, when it's so hard. Anyway, in the bowl, I put some um, the butter in there first. Then there's some ground almonds and um, some caster sugar. Um, ground almonds is another one of those things that just needs double checking to make sure it's gluten free, has no may contain warnings on there. Um, so, so that's all going in. And then to this, I'm just going to add four large eggs. Okay, now this next bit is optional. I put in for my mince pies, I put a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can leave it out, or if you want to go even more almondy, you can put some almond extract in there again. Again, another thing that we just have to check for being gluten free as well. So, um, and this is my go to at the moment this particular almond extract, and it is gluten free. This one. Um, okay, right, so with everything in there, I'm going to give it see, we've got a spoon, just a little mix round, and then I'm just going to get the mixer on it. So we're just going to mix it for a few moments until it's all nicely blended. So once it's all nicely blended and looks more or less like that, um, then it's good to go and just to put on top of the um, mince meat. I go with um, just two dessert spoons putting it on and basically you're just dividing it evenly between them all. Um, okay, so sort of look, go like about that much on top of each one. These mince, uh, mince meat pies with a frangipan topping, they are so good. Um, and I actually get requests from people to make them who aren't gluten free because they love them so much. So um, that's the testimony of them in themselves. Um, they'll also freeze well as well and reheat well as well. So. Um, and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you, um, I I do them in a couple of different ways, the, the end bit. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave one tray where I just cook them as they are, or bake them as they are, and then dust them with icing sugar when they're, they're baked. And then I'm going to do another tray where I sprinkle over ground, uh, flaked almonds, and then when they come out of the oven, for the flaked almonds one, what I do then is I brush them with um, some warmed apricot jam that I've just sieved as well. Um, and that just gives it a really nice shiny top, tasty top as well. And it's a nice combination of the crunchy almonds as well on top. So I'll show you both and then you've got different options. Um, another thing you can do as well, which I think, I've never done it myself, but it, I feel like it would be a really good idea is just add some um, orange zest to the, um, Frangipan. So rather than adding the almond extract, go with some um, freshly grated um, orange zest. And I think that would work really well as well. A bit generous for the first lot. Okay, so they're pretty much good to go like that. Don't worry about them looking a bit rough and ready because that all balances out in the oven. Um, so that's all good. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle some um, flaked almonds onto these. Again, another thing, 
I know I'm forever mentioned about checking, but basically, to be honest, for a gluten-free diet, everything needs to be checked because even the things that you presume will be all right, they, they're not always so. Everything needs to be given the once over to ensure. Okay. They're all good to go now. I'm gonna pop them in the oven and then I'll um, show you what I do with the apricot jam to glaze them as well. So about 10 minutes before the pies are, are baked, mince pies are baked, I put some jam on to warm through. Because um, I'm just doing 12 today, um, I'm doing about, about that much. But you can always warm a little bit more because you don't feel it's enough. And so I have just a little drop of water because it just makes it a little bit more runny for painting over the top. So I say just add that, pop it onto low heat, that'll gently melt and I'll just sieve it through. Okay, so I've just melted that, <laughs> not doing very well to show you, but just melted that down, I'll probably show you better this way. Um, and then just gonna sieve it through into that bowl there. Sieve it just because it just makes it look sort of, um, well, I don't want to say professional, but it just looks a little bit more um, neater. But if you're not bothered about a few little bumps and lumps with the jam, then you don't actually have to sieve it. So if you've not got a sieve, then don't worry too much. You can just avoid the little bits of apricot. Okay, and now I've just got a little pastry brush ready, so that's good to go. So when the uh, pies come out of the oven, I'm all sorted for those. They smell gorgeous, by the way. So um, I think there's about another five minutes and then they'll be done. Okay, so there we have it. That's the mince pies. They're all done now. And they're the ones without the almonds on top. Okay, so I'm just going to brush the ones with the almonds on. Let me just move this out of the way so I can just be a bit clearer. Okay, so these ones I'm just going to brush with um, apricot jam now, just to give them that nice glossy top. And also it just gives it that extra bit of flavour as well. Um, I think I may have been able to have gone a bit more with the uh, almonds on top. I could have been a bit more generous, um, but I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. The other ones I'm just going to leave in the tray. I mean, once I've done the jam on this, I'm going to leave these in the tray as well, just to cool for about about 10 minutes or so, and then just lift them out and put them onto the cooling rack to cool completely. Um, and then when the other ones have cooled completely, I, I will dust them with some icy sugar as well. So once they've cooled for about 10 minutes, um, I just took them out of the tin. Um, I used a large teaspoon to take them out because they are really delicate. The pastry, when I mentioned before about getting them nice and thin, it's really good to get them nice and thin, but it just makes it delicate when you're getting them out. Um, but they've cooked, uh, well, baked lovely. Um, they bake for um, about 20 minutes. On the recipe, I'm just going to adjust it slightly because I've got 25 minutes on the uh, recipe at the moment, but I'm going to change it to between 20 to 25 because if you take a look at it, a look at them around about 20 minutes, I think um, on most occasions they'll be good to go then. So once the mince pies are completely cooled, I'm just going to dust over um, some icing sugar, just on the ones that didn't have the... Um, the almonds on the top, so just going to lightly dust over the icing sugar there. It just finishes them off and it just makes them look so pretty. I think that difference when they just have that little smidgen of, of icing sugar going over the top just looks lovely. There we go. So that is um, the gluten-free Franchipan topped mince pies. These mince pies are amazing. They taste fabulous. The kitchen smells incredible while they bake. And I'm not just saying this, but once your friends and family have tasted these, they'll, you'll have constant requests to be making them all the time. Uh, I know Neil's delighted to know that these uh, have been made today and he's going to be able to have one with a coffee when he gets in from work. So he'll be chuffed bits because they're his favourites. Um, and I've got other friends as well that love them. So um, so yeah, so thanks as always for watching the videos that I share. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. It means so much. Um, and I look forward to being back again with you soon to share some more videos. In the meantime, take care and bye for now.